Hey everyone, I'm Chanel Addison, and I want to welcome you to the special Halloween episode of What Girls Think. We have a lot of scary things to talk about, so we're going to dive right in. But first, I have to introduce to you the rest of the crew on What Girls Think. We're all connected by internet technology around the country. First we have Sasha Marina. Hey Sasha. Hello, my name is Sasha Marina. Yeah, I can't wait to tell you, I guess, what I think about Halloween. Great Sasha, can't wait to hear what you think. Next we have Cassidy Smith. Hey Cassidy. I'm Cassidy, I'm from Houston, Texas, and I can't wait to tell y'all what I think. Great, can't wait to hear what you think either, Cassidy. All right, and of course, since it's a special Halloween episode, we have special guests, and they are Becca and Brittany from the hit First Run.TV series, Beverly Hills Ghost Club. Hey Trinil, this is Brittany. I'm Becca. Mulligan. Right. And we are two members from the Beverly Hills Ghost Club. Wow, guys, look. The temperature's dropping. Oh my god. Wow. If you have something to say to us, talk to the red light. Okay, I, I don't know Morris code, so you're going to have to do that slower. Receptive. Rochelle, did you just touch my leg? No, did you just touch my foot? Hang on, did you just touch my arm? <laughs> We are so glad to have them with us. Well, it's Halloween time, and that's when you turn things that are scary into fun, you go trick-or-treating, you wear costumes, you know, the whole bit. There's a lot of things that people just don't know about Halloween. So, I thought I'd give you a little bit of information. Did you know it started thousands of years ago with the Celtic people who lived in an area that is now Ireland? and the United Kingdom in Northern France. Their New Year started on November 1st as winter began. On that day, they believed the real world and the spirit world somehow overlapped. Their ancestors would come back and roam the earth and people would leave food out for them. Now that sounds like the start of Trick or Treat. Well, a couple thousand years have gone by and now we just look at it as scary fun. <laughs> But did you ever wonder if there is any truth to their old beliefs in the spirit world? Here's our topic for this episode of What Girls Think. Do you believe in ghosts? Not me. Do I believe in ghosts? Technically, no. I don't believe in ghosts. I do believe in spirits. But it has something to do with my religious beliefs. Um, I don't, I've never seen a ghost. I've never woken up. I've never really seen them in my dreams either. I just have never seen ghosts, like, so I don't believe in them. I usually believe in things that I can see. The only thing that I do believe in that I can't see is God. But, um, I don't really believe in ghosts. I don't know why. i just never seen one. Well, I've seen people who have pictures they've took in. Like, if they've seen a ghost, they took a picture of it and it showed up in a picture. So that's kind of, like, weird and crazy, but... Do I? No, never seen one. But that's just me. So let's find out what the other girls think. Cassidy, tell me, do you believe in ghosts? I definitely believe in ghosts. I mean, I definitely think it's possible that someone that passed away had unfinished business and maybe they needed to tell someone something. I don't always think it's a bad thing, but I think maybe it's just they felt like they needed to do something mm -hmm. before they like move on to their next life. So I definitely, I do believe in ghosts. Okay. Sasha, what do you believe? I do believe in ghosts, or should I say spirits, or should I say something supernatural? I don't know. I, I, um, I do believe in it. I mean, whatever. Reason being is because as a child and through my life, I've had some experiences, honestly, and it's kind of scary. I mean, look, I'm kind of tearing up. Um, wow. Yeah. I used to, like, kind of see stuff, I guess, in my sleep. The one that I do remember the most, though, is uh, when I, I used to live in, in Terre Haute, Indiana. And the house that we used to live in was pretty old. Um, 
the people previously that owned that house, um, there were two older people and they passed away. Hmm. Um, I'm not sure one of the people passed away in the house, but besides the thing is that we were, and I know I wasn't the only one, like um, I even remember that one day I woke up and I saw my brother's shoes like inside the refrigerator. <laughs> like that, shit, that was crazy. Um, and I would hear noises all the time. And the thing is that my room was so separated from the house, like, like the house was huge, but then my room would be like in the back. So, and then like it really had like those old kind of floors mm -hmm. and it would be creaky all the time. Um, I remember going to the attic. It was just one of those very steep attics that you would go up. And it kind of reminded me of one of those scary movies because it had those doors and it looked kind of sealed. And I was always dying to open it. But then again, I really didn't want to open it because I didn't know, <laughs> did not want to see what was behind it. <laughs> All right. Let's go to the experts from Beverly Hills Ghost Club, Becca and Brittany. Do you believe in ghosts? Oh, of course. Yeah, of course. I mean, that's what we do. Um, we're very passionate about you know, communicating with people that have crossed over and uh, find, you know, finding yeah. them and helping them find some resolution. Definitely. Okay. Does anybody have any cool ghost stories? Have you ever seen a ghost yourself or know somebody that has? Cassidy, what about you? I've never personally seen a ghost, but I do have some friends that went to the Galveston Island um, ghost tours. Which in the 1900 storm, Galveston had a massive hurricane and it killed a lot of people. And they said that, that when they were on their ghost tour, there's this, this supposedly this nun who took care of these orphan children. And to try to save them during the storm, she tied them all together with this rope to try to save them and keep them together. And the storm came and it completely demolished the house and it swept the kids away to sea. And they died out at sea and supposedly she's still roaming the sand and they said they saw her which is pretty scary so to think about it's really scary actually but um yeah supposedly she's just out there kind of like a lost soul wandering around still trying to find the kids wow what about you sasha not too long ago i mean like around two years ago i used to live in another house where um yeah, I used to, my mom says that she used to see like this lady, like this shadow go from one, from the hallway, like go from my room to the bathroom. Interesting. Becca and Brittany, we know you've seen ghosts. When was the first time you saw one? I mean, I, I saw mine when I was really little. I think I've had the ability for a long time. Like, you know, I used to think that I was just having crazy dreams, but then I realized that it was probably something more than that. Um, so it's been a real passion of mine for a long time. And I think, well, Beck is my little sister, so I think maybe I rubbed off a bit right. on you. I've always been into ghosts and, like, scary things regardless. she's always into what I'm into, so. <laughs> right. Were you afraid? At first. Are you kidding? Yeah, yeah. We get into some sticky situations sometimes, don't we? You've had a few oh. bad experiences of late. God. Do you want to tell them about the cabin? Well, she likes to think it's funny to send me into the, like, no. most haunted, scariest places. It's, I don't think it's funny. It's just, you know, kind of like a training for her, you know. It's it's kind of like, you know, you, you just need to get more experience dealing with the spirits one-on-one, -on -one, I feel. Isn't that I'm trying to help you. Anyway, tell them the story. That, I've gotten possessed. You were possessed? Literally. Could not move, you know, a muscle. I couldn't. And if, yeah, I could not move a muscle. I was just still as can be and helpless. And yeah. it was the scariest feeling because I was so helpless. There's nothing I could do. Luckily, we have a, a friend, Gwen, and she's a total empath. And, you know, she full on had to go Pacino with yeah. a, a water pistol. On a She saved my life with backup. holy water. Yeah, holy, holy water. water. Okay. Yeah, we always go prepared for these sorts of situations because it happens it's a dangerous business it's not something that someone without experience should right. do you know so if it's dangerous it must still be scary oh of course of course but it's you know it's kind of like being on stage you know you get a buzz from it it's like an adrenaline rush yeah definitely do you find that most ghosts want to harm you oh no generally they're they're nice um but we did the last place we were at yeah, well, the hidden right a hidden chateau say evil spirit it was yeah i mean i don't think we should give too much away because you guys should tune in to watch the show right um but that yeah was... like that was a hostile spirit and that's the first time we've ever really dealt with someone that 
Oh, I, angry, I guess. Yeah. Wasn't we it? got a clip, too, of, I mean, you can hear it plain as day. You'll have to check that out. It's a clip of the ghost that was up in the attic that I encountered with um, our friend Rochelle, who's mm -hmm. the other member. And, I mean, it was terrifying. We, like, had to stop and really calm down and assess the situation before we moved on. That's crazy. What does it feel like to be possessed? Oh, you're helpless. Like, it is almost like an out-of-body experience because you're there... You can picture what's happening to you and how you are, but there's nothing you can do about it. And it's just a weird feeling having this feeling that's not your own, if that makes sense. I've never been possessed, but I imagine it's like when you're really obsessed with, like, a guy. And you can't control what you do, like when you drive by their house late at night and, you know, go to all their sports games even though you haven't been invited. It sounds more like stuff. Uh, no, no, I, I haven't, I, I mean, I, I, I haven't done that with anyone, but I mean, like, you know, I, I imagine, like, when you really like someone, you don't know how to control you. That's exactly stuff. how it feels. It's like something else is controlling you. I imagine. Because <laughs> I haven't been possessed or obsessed with a guy. So how did you get out of being possessed? Holy water. Yeah, that's how yeah, I say it. Holy water. I actually know a little bit about that. I mean, it's more like prevention versus cure, you know? Um... We try to prevent these situations from happening. We take it very seriously. So we go in with, with all sorts of things, like uh, blessed earrings that will protect us from evil spirits, holy, holy water. water. So where do you get holy water? It's blessed water. Who blesses it? Father O'Kelly, yeah. down at the Catholic Church, mm -hmm. down the street. Man. He's a great guy. Oh, he's, he's a great guy. out a lot. Yeah. Had our first communion with him. Oh, and then no. I'd like him to marry me eventually. That'd be cool when I marry Brian Gosling. That'd be pretty cool. Did um, just get? No, I'm just kidding. <clears throat> Even man does needs to step aside. Um, but anyway, yeah, he's, he's really helpful with what we do because, you know, it's uh, hard sometimes to find members of the Catholic Church that are willing to do that. I agree know? with this, so. right? Wow. Yeah. Okay, let's find out what everyone's best Halloween memory is. Cassidy, does something special come to mind? See, looking back on this experience, it's funny now, but uh, two Halloweens ago, uh, I was dressed up like a mummy, which is fun, and I went with a bunch of my friends to a haunted house. And we got there, we were waiting around outside, and I was really scared because I usually don't go in haunted houses. I don't, I don't love to be scared. But um, we were outside of it, and one of my friends was like, Hey, Casty, why don't you um, go get a drink with me? And of course, the people that were outside of the house that worked in it, they heard them say my name. So whenever I went through, of course, the scary people were screaming like, uh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get you, Cassidy, and blah, blah, blah. And of course, it's scary when you're in there. You're like, how do you know my name? So it almost becomes like real. But it was looking back on it, it's funny. But the time definitely was not so funny to me. Mm, mm, mm. Sasha, what about you? My favorite, um, my favorite Halloween memory. I can't say that I have a favorite Halloween, but I can tell you what my favorite costume was, and it's a Cinderella costume that I used to have. Like, and I literally put the same costume on for like three years. I remember it was like fifth grade. It was custom made though. It was beautiful. It was like blue, my favorite color. But it was beautiful, and like I wore it for like fifth grade for a competition, and I wore it um six, fifth, sixth, and seventh, I think. And I wanted to like pass it down to my little sister, but I mean, my sister is ten years younger than me. I mean, you know, by the time that she can wear that, it's so outdated. <laughs> <laughs> Let's get back to Becca and Brittany. How did you guys start the Beverly Hills Ghost Club? Well, with mom, it was mom actually that kind of. Put the oh, idea in our you head. Meet, you will meet in Chateau. She's a she's cute a character. Um, but it was all about well, she's in real estate, yeah. and uh, she was trying to sell this massive mansion, gorgeous house. It was, but it had one issue. A ghost. That, yeah, it had a ghost. So you know, Quite people were coming in, and she wants to make that commission. She's got some Jimmy Choo's and Manolos that she needs to buy to line, you know, the the shelves that are already filled. But anyway, it doesn't matter. Um, uh, so. We went in and we said, hey, look, why don't you let us try this out? I mean, she's kind of always thought it was stupid, yeah. hasn't she? She's never really supported been us. That supportive. Yeah. But you know what? We went in. We got that ghost out. That she, is crazy. What do you really like about ghost hunting? What's so fun about this job is that it's so unpredictable. Remember that red room you saw? Oh, my God. Yeah. That was 
that red there was like a devil painted on the wall. So we're filming in this other room, me and Rochelle are filming, and all of a sudden we just hear this blood curling scream. And we have to stop filming, filming. of course. Yeah. <laughs> and we go and see what's happening, and she's just like stunned looking at this room, and there's just like silhouette of a devil on the wall and it was oh my god i mean that was scary we took a break after yeah, that yeah i had to leave like sometimes it's just really overwhelming that you need to get out of the space hmm so when you go hunting how do you tell that there's ghosts out there we have equipment that uh you know measures the electricity in the air and sure, all that. these things mm -hmm. and they really do change depending on where the ghosts are um, yeah, oh my you know, so so you know when when they're present. So the energy, the air is thicker. It is like, ugh. so yeah. sometimes you do just need to get out of there and recoup before you go back in. Interesting. Right. So why do you think that ghosts hunt places? I personally think it's their souls like trapped there. Mm -hmm. They just, they need they need to be released. Yeah, I mean a lot of the time they have unfinished business. Right. So. You know, we try and help them resolve that, mm -hmm. but sometimes, you know, they're more stubborn than others. Right, or they think we're stepping on their toes and, like, mm -hmm. they don't want to leave. Yeah, some of them don't want to leave. I think some of them enjoy being the big bully at school, picking on all the little kids, which are us in this Good physical world. Yeah, well, it's true, you know. They're, like, more evolved than us yeah. on a, you know... Spiritual level. Spiritual level, yeah. So we're like, the, we're like the freshmen, and they're like the seniors, you know. <laughs> well, we're out of time for this episode. But since this episode was so amazing, we're going to have a part two of our special Halloween episode. We can even keep you updated on our Twitter, at Girls Think TV. Thanks for watching. I'm Trina Ladison. I'm Sasha Marina. I'm Cassidy Smith. I'm Becca Mulligan. And I'm Brittany Mulligan, and we're from, from the Beverly Hills Ghost Club. And this is What Girls Think. Hey girls, to be a guest on What Girls Think, or to suggest a subject for a future show, go to www.whatgirlsthink.tv. Find us on Facebook at What Girls Think, and Twitter at Girls Think TV.